This is a lovely story. A local baby bank which provides supplies to families in need had a royal visit early this month as the Princess of Wales enlisted the help of her three children to volunteer in their preparations for Christmas. Joining us now is Rebecca Mystery, co-founder of the Baby Bank in Maidenhead. Rebecca, tell us about uh, the visit from the Waleses. How did it come about? Um, so the Princess of Wales had visited us in April um, as her sort of local local baby bank and she'd mentioned at the time she wanted to come back and obviously she has a very busy calendar and about sort of three weeks ago we got um, a phone call email saying that she would like to, to come back um, and about two days before we found out she would be bringing the children with her to, to help and to volunteer. Um, and show them what is on their doorstep and show them how they can support their community. Sorry, God, I was just going to say, Rebecca, I think it was such a nice thing that they did and sometimes the royal family are damned if they do and damned if they don't, but I think the highlight and, and, and putting your place in, in, in the public sphere is really, really important. Just explain to us the background to your baby bank, what you do and why it is so important in the United Kingdom at this moment to have places like yours. Um, because people are really struggling. You know, the cost of living crisis is affecting everybody. You know, we've seen a massive increase in people who are working um, and who are contacting us needing support because you get that unexpected bill. You don't have your savings to fall back on. Um, and the Princess of Wales visit sort of highlights the work of organisations like us and others around the country. And it it's a way of sort of saying to people, actually, if you're struggling, please get in contact because actually there is support. So we support up to age 16, other organisations support uh, babies and up to five, but it's just letting people know that please don't struggle, please don't be embarrassed, please don't feel shame, just, just Google. Google your nearest baby bank and somebody will be able to help you. And we heard her talking to George about the importance of volunteering, how much she gets out of it, how much they could get out of it, learning how to help others and the importance of that. What was it like as an experience for the children and how were they? They were they were excellent. We've all had our own children in at various points sort of volunteering. So it was just like having some, you know, some extra children in to help. And, and it was brilliant because they can give input as a 10 year old, as a six year old, rather than than us who are sort of a little bit older. Um, and it was brilliant. They were hardworking. They were enthusiastic. They asked questions that were relevant to children of, of their age. It was fantastic. Have you seen a rise in the demand? When we talk about food banks. This is specifically a baby bank. And, you know, I think we all go, oh, it's Christmas. Where are you going? How many presents are you going to get? There's a lot of people who are struggling to buy a baby meal or, 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 or get a nappy. These places are essential, aren't they? Yeah, I think sort of we last year with sort of uh, Christmas PJs and gifts alone supported about 1,500 children across the area. And I think at the moment it sits at just over 2,000. Um, and I think us uh, overall, the, we've supported about 7,500 compared with last year, which sat at about 4,500. So we've seen a massive, a massive increase. And these are people who are working people who are working hard and who are just struggling to make ends meet. And the Wales has brought their own donations uh, to you. If there are people watching and they want to help and support, what are the kind of things that you do need, Rebecca? Um, so we always need um, new underwear, new socks. For us as an organisation, we made the decision a long time ago from a dignity point of view and also from us sorting out clothes that we never give out pre-loved underwear because, you know, if somebody's not having a good day and then we go, here, have someone else's underwear, that's particularly unpleasant and nobody wants to be sorting that out. Um, nappies, toiletries, sanitary products, um, you know, stationary bits for, for school. Um, and then equally, we, a vast majority of our donations are, are pre-loved um, and you can find quite a comprehensive list on our social media pages. Rebecca, seriously, genuinely, I'm so glad we did this story um, and I think what you do and others like you across this country is absolutely brilliant and puts the government and other people to shame. So thank you so much and a happy Christmas. I just wanted to say to finish, actually, that I, um, what my wife does every year, my kids, I guess, are fortunate, she clears the playroom, takes it mm -hmm. to somewhere like that or a, a baby and mother unit, 
because of the presents kids are going to get. We could all do that, by the really way. Really good to get the children involved as Absolutely. well, because, you know, our children are very fortunate. They are indeed.